Hello, and I am Dr. Corey King, and welcome to my video series. Today, I am specifically shooting this video for patients that may be newly diagnosed with low thyroid or hypothyroid, or maybe you think you have a thyroid gland disorder. Maybe there's some energy loss, you're not recovering, you're not sleeping well, your metabolism is off, your hair is starting to fall out, your libido is changing. This video is gonna be very, very helpful for you, along with the other videos in this series. So let's start with three tips that I need you to understand because this is gonna help save you heartache, time, frustration, money, frustration, heartache, time, money, you kind of get the drift. So tip number one, you need to make sure that your doctor is screening you for Hashimoto's disease. What that is, that is an autoimmune condition that is attacking your thyroid gland. The reason I want you to have this screened is because 90% of hypothyroid patients are misdiagnosed. 90% of hypothyroid patients actually have Hashimoto's disease. It's the same thing that my fiance Natasha has, her mother, her sister, and even my stepfather. They all have it. So 90% of hypothyroid patients are misdiagnosed, which means they get mistreated. So if you are low thyroid or have hypothyroid, you need to make sure you're not dealing with Hashimoto's disease. How would you know? Well, your medications are not working, your symptoms aren't getting better, and you're not reaching those health goals that you have. If that's you, make sure your doctors run both. There's two thyroid antibody markers because a lot of times they only run one and that one can be negative, but the other one's positive and so they still miss it. It's crazy. The medical model doesn't have medication for Hashimoto's, which is why typically they do not run those markers. That's on another video where I talk about why the doctors are not running a full blood panel. Tip number two, you want your doctors to run all 10 thyroid markers. So we have the two antibodies, now you have eight other thyroid markers that your doctors need to run. Why do they need to run more markers? Well, it's not always your thyroid gland that is the problem. Sometimes you could have a pituitary gland that's affecting the thyroid and it appears as if you have low thyroid. You could have the Hashimoto's component. Heck, maybe you're not converting your thyroid hormone. So if your doctors are giving you Synthroid or they're giving you Levothyroxine, which is only T4, and you're not converting the T4 over into T3, then you're not getting the T3 in your cells, which means you're not producing energy, your metabolism's not working, your gastrointestinal tract's not functioning properly, you may not be sleeping well, the hair is falling out, all those symptoms that we listed earlier. So you wanna make sure your doctor runs all 10 thyroid markers. Don't worry, I'm gonna put a link in the description of the video below. You can download them, or excuse me, you can download those markers for free. So you can take those markers to your doctor and say, doctor, run all of those markers. I want them all ran. Tip number three, besides the 10 thyroid markers, there are 57 other markers that your doctors need to run. When you're looking at the thyroid, you can't only just look at the thyroid with blinders on because you have all these different other organ systems and these different influencers that can impact your thyroid glands function. Those other 57 markers, they're gonna look at things such as blood sugar dysregulation. They're gonna look at adrenal gland function. They're gonna tell us how well the liver and the gallbladder are doing. Extremely important for thyroid patients to have a healthy functioning liver. Did you know that there are 25 types of anemias? So if you're anemic, you can have fatigue, you may not recover properly, heck, you could be having chronic headaches, all because you have an anemia. And there's 25 types, so your doctors need to run all the right anemia markers. Besides that, it's gonna be looking at your white blood cells to rule in or rule out infections. Infections can make your thyroid condition worse. It's gonna look at your cholesterol, it's gonna look at all 10 thyroid markers along with inflammatory markers, even looking at your inflammatory heart markers to see if your condition is starting to affect your heart. We're also gonna to look to see how well you're absorbing your vitamins and your minerals like vitamin D, which is extremely important for thyroid hormones. So 
you want all 67 markers ran. So to sum it up, we want to make sure that your doctor is ruling you in or ruling you out for Hashimoto's disease. We want to make sure your doctor is running all 10 thyroid markers. And on top of those 10 markers, we want to make sure your doctors are running the other 57 markers to look at all the pieces to the puzzle. Because if you leave out some of those pieces of your puzzle, you can never complete the picture. Okay. So make sure you, to visit down below in the description. You can download those blood markers for free. Take them to your doctor and say, doctor, I want you to run these markers. If the doctors do not run those markers, then you need to find a new doctor. But I'm going to be explaining more about that in our other video, why doctors don't run a full blood panel. So make sure you watch that. To learn more, you can visit us at AskDrKing.com. Heck, come join our thyroid Facebook group. The link is in the description below where you can interact with other thyroid patients. Some of them are my patients. Some of them are patients from all over the world, but we share ideas, we share recipes, we encourage each other. So I encourage you to come join our group. Uh, check us out on Instagram because we put a ton of great recipes on there for everybody. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.